Hi guys. Today I want to talk about motorcycle sat-navs and in particular Zumo ones. We've got a Zumo 660 here and we've used it uh, for lots of holidays, get across France. Our good friend Andy uh, programmed in all the routes for the whole of the holiday that we did uh, recently down to Milau. Fantastic bit of kit if you program in the routes to use it just as a stock sat nav you know put in a route uh, put in a destination in actually it's pretty rubbish and it won't pick a good road you've got to make it go down the roads you want it to go down and that's what i want to talk about today i mean we're we we're followers of a, a, a motorcycle vlogger called the missenden flyer and i'll put a link down there to his site if you've uh, if you're not visited there we follow a lot of his tours that he does and great they are as well but we do notice he struggles to get a full route in and he's all the while stopping and putting a new destination in with his waypoints so uh, hopefully today we're going to show you how to load a full route up making it go exactly where you want using Garmin's Basecamp software so anyway this is how I go about doing it Hey, uh, can you put me a route on the sat nav, please? We're going to use Google Maps to plan out a good biking route, and uh, we, we use Google Maps all the time to give us an idea of what the area is going to look like. And we do a very rough plan out using Google Maps, put a few areas in, uh, a few points in, and then we use that map to help us then plan on uh, on base camp. Right, for the purposes of this, we're going to start at the Black Horse Pub. And from there, we're going to go to the Plough at Caddesdon. From there, we're going to head round to Little Kimble. And from there, we're going to go to another pub, the Firecrest on London Road. And that should give us a nice little route to try out uh, Base Camp. We'll try and make a route out of that on Base Camp. Set it up as a GPX file. And uh, we'll send it down to you and see if it works. OK, the reason we set it up on Google Maps first is because on Basecamp you can't really search very well for places that you want to go and you don't want to necessarily take the most direct route. So, and to do that route, the sat-nav will just direct you straight up that London road, which isn't really a biking route, so it's not what you're looking for. So we will plot the route on base camp to give us the best biking roads. Um, sometimes we even check them out on street view to see, make sure they've not got grass or gravel down the middle of them and they're not really little roads, but we don't want to go on the biggest A roads normally. So the first thing we do is set up a, a folder for the area that we're going to be in and within that folder we set up a new list. This list will contain everything, so waypoints and the routes um, petrol stations, cafes, wherever we're going to stop, that sort of thing. And we'll set up a list for a trip, and a trip might be a whole weekend, it might be a whole week away, um, but it'll have every component in there that we're going to download onto our sat-navs for that trip. So we've got our list now. And the list is currently empty. So in the list we need to make some waypoints. So the first waypoint is going to be the first pub, which is called the Black Horse. 
from there the root well after you've done the waypoint you need to click on the hand button which is the pan button if you don't you end up with lots of waypoints all over your map that you don't want so you need to then find your next or your final destination really for your next waypoint so we click on the waypoint again and I believe it's this one here, the Firecrest. As you can see, Basecamp already have these things in there, but they're not actual waypoints on our list until we make them waypoints. So that is where we're going to go from the Black Horse to the Firecrest. But we want to go via the route that we planned on Google Maps. We don't want to go the most direct route, which is obviously straight up that road. So to make the route, we basically have the start point and the end point which you drag into here we obviously the activity is motorcycling so we're going to drag the black horse into there and the fire crest into there and click go and it'll give us a route which is what you're going to expect it's going to go straight up that road there which obviously isn't what we want to do we want to go all the way around that nice route so in order to do that there's two ways of doing it you can either put more waypoints in along your route where you do want to go so we'll go back to the pan symbol and we're going to put another waypoint in which was the plough at Cadston which is over here so we can add another waypoint and we'll pop that in there in order to get that into our route we can simply add it in so if we go back to the pan click on the route that we're looking at that's black horse to firecrest click on that and we can add in a waypoint so we're going to add in the plow insert it and we're going to put it in between those two so now if we click recalculate it'll take us on that route instead so it's gone a very odd way it's decided we're going to go up to the plough then we're going to go back again so we're going to go up there and we're going to back on ourselves this is why people get a bit frustrated with base camp I think because it's not necessarily the most natural thing but we decided on Google Maps that we were going to go via Little Kimble which is up here now in order to do that we could do that by a different way rather than making an actual waypoint for Little Kimble we can just add a point into the route so we click on this tool up here which is insert and you just hover over your route until it comes up with that black line you can see it if you go off it it's it just hovering you're not clicking at that point so if we then click it comes up with this like elastic band and you can click on where the road you want to go on so if you wanted to go on this little white road you could go on that if you want to go on this big road up here which I think is what we planned on the Google Maps the only thing I would say on here if that was a dual carriageway make sure you click on the left hand side of the dual carriageway otherwise it'll send you on the other track and it'll take you the other way and it'll give you a right weird route so you have to click on I don't think it is dual carriageway so it should be fine but and you've still got your elastic band so you can click more points along the route but generally I don't because again it can get a bit mad so I just click escape or just click the hand button again so I'll just click escape and it gets rid of that and it asks you know it's kind of still hovering there so if I again you've got to go back to the pan symbol there otherwise you, again you'll put lots of little points all amongst your route that'll make a right mess of it so anyway looking at that that looks very similar now to the route we planned on Google Maps so I'm quite happy with that another little tip you can do if you want to plan your route really meticulously you can put in how long you want to stay at places and how long it's going to take you and things so if you click on the route click on the title so say you know you want to arrive at Firecrest at a set time you can put a little clock there and say you want to arrive there at five o'clock in the afternoon if you put in 17 17 in there okay and that tells you then you've got to set off at 437 
and if you want to go to the plough and you want to spend a bit of time there again you could put a little layover time in there and all this will be part of your route so if you say I want to spend an hour at the plough at least an hour <laughs> at least an hour at the yeah. plough that'll put that into the route as well so it's still got this one you want to arrive at five o'clock now you've got to set off an hour earlier so it it's quite good in if you, route planning especially if you know you're gonna have lots of stops along the route say even petrol stops you allow 10 minutes for you know meal stops you'd allow an hour for and that sort of thing so you can really plan your route really down to the finest detail so we'll just click recalculate again just to make sure that's looking okay and we'll go back to the route and that looks pretty good so now in order to get that onto your sat nav you've got to transfer it so you need to plug your sat nav into your computer I need a sat nav I've got a sat nav you've got I a sat nav I just yeah. happen to have one yeah so take the back off your sat nav yeah you plug your sat nav in plug your sat nav in and in a little while it takes a little while for it to decide it's there what was that So the computer's recognised it. So now I'm going to basically take that whole list of items and carry it down to the user data. So I'm just going to click on that, click and hold, carry it down to user data. And that copies that into there. Well, we've got a load of other stuff in there as well, actually. I'll have to delete that first, but anyway. But you can now see that that route's been added. Job done. Okay, so we've unplugged the sat nav from the computer now. We just need to put the back back on. Okay, so sat nav should automatically come on again and it should detect that it's got new data been installed so when you get that message you just click yes and you can go into favorites and select all of the favorites as well and import those on and the routes we have got one today and click import and you should get a message and it's imported successfully. So when you come to get on your bike, you want to go on your route, you click where to and you go down to custom routes and here's the route that you just installed. Get on your bike and press go and it should direct you along the exact roads that you have just programmed in. And that's it. There you go. That's how I get a route on the sat now.